everybody this is Dragonheart and welcome to Napoleon Total War the Swiss Confederacy campaign so I'm back making videos in this series I've had some trouble with my other campaigns at the moment my Carthage campaign save file is messed up a little bit so I'm returning to this campaign for the time being I did say that I would do some more videos in the near future and I think this would be the perfect opportunity to do that so let's crack on and as you can see the Ottoman Empire has Istanbul and in the previous episodes which I made a few months ago the Ottoman Empire uh, re-emerged on the campaign map and we're now having to face them we do have Transylvania up here we also have Athens Belgrade, Zagreb, Venice and of course we have our capital Luzerne in Switzerland so it's been a difficult campaign as you can see in the map, if I make it a bit bigger, so much French lands, Russia's down to its last province by the looks of things. And yeah, it's going to be a difficult uphill battle, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. Um, Darth Mod, of course, makes the game much harder, so I am up against it. But let's let's ca uh, let's carry on with this campaign and stop nattering to myself. <laughs> Anyway, so what we got? We have an army here, some Swiss grenadiers, Swiss line infantry, militia. Need to replenish, don't we? I also have some artillery, which could probably link up with this army, I think. Yeah, that's better. We have a general as, as well, Heinrich Reisner. Um, I'm also going to be doing this campaign in recording sessions, so I'll sit down and play about an hour's worth of gameplay and then break that up into two or three episodes. I'll try to get each episode at least 20 minutes long, maybe a bit longer. Um, let's check diplomacy. At war with Naples, Sweden and Sicily, and the Ottomans and the Russians. Very friendly with the French, that's going to be key in this campaign. And I could <laughs> try to take them on, but that would be suicidal at the moment. Uh, do I have any other armies nearby? Oh, we have the Ottomans making their way down to Athens. We're going to have to defend ourselves for looks of things. We don't have much money. It's not looking good. Oh, it's going to be horrible. We could end up losing Athens. Hmm, what can we do? What can we do? No money. Where can I get money from in this campaign? Uh, I think I'm at the end turn phase, that's probably why I got no money. We'll end turn and we'll see what happens in the end turn phase. French Empire. Moving around the campaign map. But yeah, basically that um, save file completely messed up for my Carthage campaign. It's a shame because I was really getting into that campaign. I think it might be something to do with the recent patch updates. I'm not quite sure though, because I, I did have mods installed, but I uninstalled all the mods and it was still not working properly. So that was a bit weird. But oh well, not much I can do about it. I will try again later in the week to see if it's it's working or not. Maybe maybe it's something to do with. Um, the recent Hannibal at the gates. Oh, what's this? Diplomacy. Join war against the UK and they offer me money. Seems a fair deal. <laughs> the UK can't touch me anyway, so yeah, I accept. That suits me. I don't want to piss the French off because that'll be the end of this campaign. Oh, and we've been attacked by the Ottoman Empire. Right, what have we got here? They're depleted, mind. They are very much depleted. This could be suicidal by the Ottomans. I shall assault them. Battle of Burgas, 1809. Halil Hussein versus Heinrich Reisner. And the war rages on. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a Mountain Blade Warband Clash of Kings mod on my channel. I've recently been watching uh, Hef, Hef Heistgen's YouTube channel. And he's been doing a campaign for Mountain Blade with 
with the Clash of Kings mod and it's really great to, to watch, really entertaining and I'm thinking that you know I wouldn't mind trying that. I'm a big fan of the series, Game of Thrones series. Uh, what we got? We have Tartars, Semajaniseries, Alter Devishes. So gonna they got some artillery. It's gonna be gonna be a problem, I think. Got got protection of the hill by here. If we march forward, could be. He was full right. Let's um We've got more men than them, so let's not be afraid of them. Get my grenadiers. Only got four men in the one unit here. That's fine by me. Oh, I'm using the um keyboard keys then to try and group the units but I remember that I was using the wrong ones because of Rome so whoopsie. You could have these cannons on the flank I think yes and I un remember to unlimber them as well something I usually forget let's get the militia like so Chevalier Gars we get them there have a big line then I think with the rest of my my men if I highlight them all get them into a formation yeah I'm fairly happy with that we'll begin are my artillery fire, firing they are indeed let's bring, let's bring some of these troops out I'm actually going to bring the line forward because we will ha get some protection from this hill. Uh, let's bring these forward to the left flank. Let's bring the cavalry to the left. I haven't played this for probably about two months, so I'm a little bit rusty. Unfortunately. Cavalry. Um, Semat Janisseries. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Bum, 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 bum. I gotta say, Darth mod is a great mod. Just for moments like that. Really captures the the feel of war, doesn't it? And they're gonna be in range soon, so we're gonna just straighten these out a little bit. We can hit. Oh, they are overhitting at the moment. They have killed a few of my men. Have lost one or two. They are looking to flank me here with their Orta de Vichis or de Viches. I can't pronounce it. It's one of those days. <laughs> Just bring these lines forwards. What I like to do in this game. Utilize my lines to the best best of their abilities. Bring the cavalry back. Get into square as quickly as possible. Get the squares going. Let's get the cavalry behind the line. Let's bring the main line up as well. Let's get them all forward now. It's time to attack. Cannons the shot time. Let's get firing. Let's get firing. Let's get the squares going. Time for a charge. We've lost this unit. This is a shame. Let's get the canister going, come on. This is what I want. They're out in, that's good. Need the squares to hold up. Sir! Sir! Our general is under attack! General, bring him forward. Excellent. Oh, wait, that's us. <laughs> Fail. 
get the square going. It's important to get the square going. Attack. Where's my general? Get up here. At least the artillery is getting some kills. Janissaries routed in the centre. Come on, fire. Into the back of them. Bring this unit up. Up to there. This is good. Keep firing. Our men are running, sir. Damn it. The centre starting to fold. Rally time. Form a square with this unit to try and counteract this uh, centre here. I'm to keep the cavalry in there for a long time, unfortunately. This is definitely not my best battle. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a long time since I've played this game. And it's starting to show. Uh oh, it's not good. Not good at all. My squares can hold up for a long time. Then it may just stand half a chance. Just get the general to charge. Get the charge into the third order marines. There we go. Just get him back out. Come on. That worked. That was good. That worked. Excellent. Nice little charge there. Let's try and shoot the cavalry down by here. They got that cavalry. Are we doing the right flank? Right flank. We're holding up fairly well. Let's get these back to round shot and aim for their artillery at the far end of the map. Um, get this guy out of square. Yep. Fire on the marines over there. Let's bring the general a little bit closer to the action as well. My men do fairly well. We route a lot of them now. Is always good in warfare. Um, right, they're all starting to crumble. This is good news. Right, just came out of square. Oh, oh there's a, some kind of thing there stopping. Please, come on, there we go. Pathfinder was messing up a little bit then. Where's the artillery gone? There they are. Need them to concentrate their fire on these... some of these units. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's my unit. <laughs> Fail. The flags, when you're looking at them at a short notice, it, it is a bit confusing. They do look a little bit similar. The red and the white. Come on, concentrate the fire on, on them over there. Bang, bang, bang. Love at the gainer. Probably pronounced that terribly wrong. <laughs> Foot artillery. This charges cavalry unit into the artillery here. Try and break them up. Try and route them if possible. We're gonna fast forward this a little bit as well. There we go. That unit's gone. There we go. Charging. Ah, oh, they're out as well. This battle is over. I think. Let's get these to halt now. There we go. Stop firing. Oh, and there we go. Victory. And battle, heroic victory. Whew, that was hard work.
very very sloppy by my part lost 737 614 remaining you can see there didn't do too well oh we're gonna lose Athens and they're bringing more men into Istanbul hmm I'm wary of Spain in this campaign I'm wondering what they're, they're planning uh, let's see we're gonna lose well we got some militia garrison Hmm. Not too much difference. They do have artillery, which is going to be a bitch in this next battle. But once they're out of bullets, they're out of bullets. Uh, let's see. So they've gone and retreated here. All four of them. We've got four of them here, plus this one in the city. Right, we're going to go and attack this unit. The city will come out as well. All one of them. We'll assault this one as well. Battle of Romelia. Romela. Hang on, I mean, I'm just thinking of something. If I take out Istanbul now, isn't that the end of the Ottoman Empire before they take Athens? Or do they come up as rebels? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this game. I keep thinking of Rome 2 because that's the game I've been playing a lot lately and you can defeat a nation in Rome 2 but they do somehow come back. Okay, these three are here. Unlimber them. Let's bring them forward a little bit. Line infantry, scare one long line. Oh, what's happening? Pathfinder's playing up a little bit. You know what? Let's just let's just cut these in half. Let's get one block grouped up. I'm only doing this a rush job of this because we do have a superior numerical advantage. Wouldn't usually be like this. Here we go. Start the battle. Lofatakena. God bless Switzerland. There we go. The cannons doing a good job firing. Taking one of them out already. Lost one man there. Lost three in that unit. That's what I want. It's good. It's progress gonna go with my flank my right flank down here gonna go a bit deeper though try and draw them out same with this one as well cavalry is fairly well protected underneath this this hill Ooh I may actually fast forward this a little bit just get a few more shots away the music is a bit loud as well, so I might change that in a few moments' time. Oh, and we have killed the enemy general. Excellent news. These cannons are going to be worthless in a few moments' time. Oh, what's over here? Look at this sneaky bastard. Didn't know they had cannons over here. Right, know what I'm going to do? charge them with my cavalry surely he can't hit all the cavalry this is an important battle if I want to wipe out the Ottomans once and for all once the Ottomans are gone I can concentrate on my economy and then work out what I'm going to do next do I attack France do I try to take that last Russian province do I go to Sicily and Venice? I'm thinking probably Sicily and Venice because there's quite a lot of money in those. You know, in, in the Italian peninsula, you've got Sardinia, Sicily. I think most of them are not allied with with France, so it would prove wise. Oh, look at this! Oh my God, look at the destruction! Woo that was exciting. I was very excited about that one then. Right then guys, you can move forward, move the left flank forward, right flank not quite in range but they will be before long. We're going to bring them forward a little bit more, let's go to this part of the battle map, cavalry charging, we're going to wipe them out now in a second, let's have a little look at this charge, absolutely beautiful this is going to be, 
And they go. Oh, it's beautiful. Our general is under attack. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Right. Um. We're in range. Won't be long before they're in range to f to hit. While that's happening, let's bring the right flank up to attack. Meanwhile, my cannons can continue to bombate, bombate, bombard them, bombade them. <laughs> if you're me, right? The cannons are gone there. Let's bring them forward to this left flank. Let's bring the cavalry forward to the left flank, and they're going to start firing now. Here we go. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. One of the foot artillery is routed. Excellent. Let's get them to hit that flank and them to hit that flank. Let's get all the artillery to concentrate on this unit here. Excellent. This is purely excellent, guys. This battle will be over shortly. Here we go. Routed as well. They're all gone. One nil to the heroes. We can be heroes just for one day. Here we go. Heroic victory. We only lost 16. It's not bad at all. So, they're gone. I'm going to lay siege to Istanbul. It's going to be a tough one, guys. It's going to be a tough one indeed. But I'm going to let, let this uh, battle take place in the next video. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, video in the Swiss Confederacy campaign. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.